They call it serene, soothing, and magnificent. The Cascadia Marine Trail is all these and more. Along the coast in the Pacific Northwest, it's a 150-mile entirely water-based recreation trail, extending from Olympia, Washington, through the San Juan Islands, up to the Canadian border. Yeah, you're good. The trail is a network of 55 shoreline campsites started over 20 years ago by the Washington Water Trails Association in partnership with state and local authorities. All right, you ready? Now there's a bill in Congress to start the process of designating it as a national scenic trail. In Washington, about 83% of the marine shore is privately owned. Designating this as a national scenic trail would help protect the fragile ecology here and guarantee public access. It means water access uh, for all the community here in the United States and any visitors who want to come to freely have access to the water. Congressman Jay Inslee introduced the Cascadia Marine Trail Study Bill in 2009. This will have a, uh, a big step forward for the country. It will be the first in the nation's history of a fully waterborne trail. There are parts of other trails that have portions, water sections, but this will be the whole enchilada of 150 miles of water trail where places you can pull out if you want to take a little break. Supporters of the trail want to have campsites for non-motorized boats and their paddlers every five to 10 miles. If you're not kayaking a lot, you don't really realize how few spots there are that you can camp and you can go with a kayak. The trail now relies primarily on donor support and volunteer maintenance. And the economic slump has meant a decline in donations and the closing of some campsites. What I know that we've been losing sites and that's not okay. Every one is a jewel. And um, every time they take one away, that's, that's a, a part of it. And some of the most beautiful ones have been closed. As a designated trail, Cascadia would be supported by federal funds and managed by federal authorities, like the National Park Service or the Bureau of Land Management that would coordinate with state and local authorities and use volunteer support where possible. Congressman Inslee says Americans should support his bill regardless of where they live. It's just like asking why would you care about Yellowstone or Yosemite, you know, just because you're not living there, it doesn't mean that it's not a huge, huge part of everybody's lives. Supporters of the Cascadia Trail say the designation will ensure that future generations will be lucky enough to enjoy it, like those who paddle it today. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.